Hello everyone, my name is Leonardo Rodriguez Mora and in this video in the company of Camilo Contreras Avila, Julian Rivero Solano and Jose Lacutil Jansen, we will explain the approximate analysis in truces for the method 1. Now my college Camilo and Jose will explain a little about the theory of the jutsu. Wrong analysis of Stelling indeterminate structures. For a un indeterminate structures, they can be can relate to the loads uh, as long of the models elastic of the materials is common as well as the CC of shape of the elements. For a descent to start, the CC the element which which be be common and therefore stability and indeterminate analysis cannot be considered to carry off analysis is necessary to delay simple model of the structure which is stability study is called approximate analysis asking of the owner of the type a preliminary design of the element to the structure we can and the complement this is this possible to get rid of more exact in determinate analysis of the refined to the same. A correct analysis when time of money and the subject carry of analysis which parter precision. As these structures are not used as a primary element. They are usually analyzed but by approximate methods. In the case show, it will, be, it will be observed that when eliminating a diagonal from the panels, the reinforcement becomes statically determined at that is what you want to find. Then you use the formula who is called the determination static or scrape. This assumption can be made with respect to the transfer diagonals. If it is observed that when a diagonal in a panel is in tension, the corresponding transverse diagonal is in compression. Two methods can be applied. We will use methods one, which is based on the fact than if the diagonals are intentionally designed long and thin. It is reasonable to suppose that they cannot withstand um, a force of understanding, otherwise it would deform us bookie easily. Consequently, the sheer force of the panel is fully resized by the tension diagonal while the compression diagonal is assumed to be a zero or zero force element. My name is Ray Rivero and this is a sample one. Determine I approximate the force at each armor element. Suppose the diagonal can support a compressed form. That uh, exercise image and next to solve the exercise let's assume that the diagonal can support a compressive force we will first develop two support reactions a first the summation of moment in eight main zero c six four uh, six minus 40 times 3 minus 20 times 6 minus 0 c minus 40 kilonewton the momentum sum at c minus 0 40 times 3 plus 50 times 6 minus 8 weight a in weight times 6 minus 0 a in y minus 70 kilonewton we obtain the sum of, of force at x minus 0 uh, in y minus 0. Having the result of the 
estimation, we will proceed to perform the sections marked that are force required in a times a less force in C times E Mansur. With this required, we will continue with the figure B with sum of force in and minus zero. 70 minus 15 minus force in B time F sin of 45 degrees minus zero force of T times of F minus 8.28 kilonewton time it minus 8.3 kilonewton times T Therefore, we continue with the momentum at minus zero. Force at E times F minus 28.28 cosine of 45 degrees. 3 minus zero force at E times F minus 20.0 kilonewton per C. Summation of moment at F minus zero force at a times B times three minus zero force in a time B minus zero. Then at the request of fire C with the sum of force and an in at minus zero forty minus twenty minus four A by B times D sine. 45 minus 0 force at B times D minus 28.28 kilonewton times T minus 28.3 kilonewtons times T. So also the summation of moment at C minus 0, 28 minus 28 cosine of 45 degree by 3 minus 4 in D by E by 3 minus 0 force and D by E and 20.0 kilonewton by C and the sum of moment at the minus 0 minus 4 at B times C by 3 minus 0 force at a time C minus 0 Try to solve uh, the articulation metal start with uh, joint A refers to picture D. The force zones at uh, minus zero seventy less force in a time F minus zero force in a time F minus seventy point zero kilonewton time C. Joint B future A force the sum at uh, minus zero twenty eight point twenty eight sine of 45 degrees plus 28.28 side of 45 degrees less force in B times E minus zero force in B times A 40.0 kilonewton sine C to empty with the joint C fixture F for the zoom and minus zero 40 less force in C times D minus zero force in C times D minus 40 point kilonewtons per C. And so we end the exercise, to exercise, uh, making the last brief case in addition to continue our presentation with another problems. And now my parent Jose and me We'll do another exercise that say determine approximately the force in each member of truss. Suppose the diagonals cannot support a compressing force. To fit it, I will first find the keys to determine if the armature is statically indeterminate. With the follow the question keys is equal to NL more ear minus two 
multiplied by nn, taking into account that nl is the number of elements that in this case are 11. Here is the number of fraction that here with 3 on nn being the number of not which are 6. Now we will apply the session method. Now that for C A and force B F are equal to zero since they are the diagonals that are in compression. So we make the first code and we have this result. We draft in edge elements if they are intention of compression, like this, and we also find the values of the shear B, which in this case is H because it's the only force in the code. Now we perform summation of force in X, and we have two the force of H minus the force BF multiplied by its component in X which is the adjunct leg on the hypotenuse. In this case, it is 1.5 and 2.5, respectively. Doing that producer, this equals zero. And we solve for the odd now, that is the force DF, and we have a result 30, 13, 0.33 that is in tension. Then we make summation of moment at point E and we are left with the positive force CD because it goes counterclockwise multiplied by 1.5 which is the distance minus 13.33 which is the force df that goes crosswise so it is negative it is multiplied by its component in y and multiplied by it, its distance all equal to zero as a result we have that the force cd is equal to 10.66 in compression now we make summation of moment and point D by it by and we have the force EF multiplied by it E distance is equal to zero. Only this that upper because the other are zero at the, this time. So it remains like this. Now that we have these values, we are going to make a new code and we are left with the representation of tension on compression force. We also find the value of the shear B, which in this case is 18, by the sum of the force of 10 and H. Now, we perform summation of force in X and we have two, the force of H more the force of 10 minus the force AC multiplied by its component in X, which is the adjunct leg on the hypotenuse. In this case, it is 1.5 and 2.5 respectively performing this producer. This equals zero, zero, and we clear the arc now, and we have as a result of the force of 30 for the force AC, that is intention. Then we perform summation of moment and point C, and we have left that the positive AF force 
because it goes counterclockwise multiplied by 2, which is the distance minus h, which is the applied force that goes clockwise that that why it is negative. It is multiplied by distance, which is 2, equal 0. As a result, we have the force AE is equal to 10.67 in tension. Now, we add moment in if and, and we have that the force BC multiply by the distance of 1.5 minus 30 which is the force AC that goes crosswise that is why it's negative multiplies by this component and multiplies for its distance everything equals zero as a result we have that the force BC is equal to 34.67 in compression. Now my partner Jose is going to finish explaining the example. Now to finish, determining the force we carry out studies of each of the nodes and we have to at the point E each or one of the force found at those that are missing are drawn where it is evident if they are in tension or understanding like this. And then we have the unknown force DE. To find this value summation of force is done in X and we have to A which is the play force the force DE equal to zero. We clear and we have the value of four of the force DE equals A in understanding. Now we have we make the same illustration of force the point C showing if they are in tension or understanding as before summation of four is carried out in nets and now we have to the force CF minus the force AC which 13 multiplied by its component in X is equal to 0. We clear and we have that the CF force equal to 18 in understanding. Ok, finally, we made the illustration again. Now with the point B, here the reaction produced by the support must also be included. We make a sum of force in X and we have to the force of AB is equal to zero. This because it is the only force applied on this axis. And so the sample is considered resolved. Voices, presentation, Leonardo Rodriguez Mora, definition of approximate analysis of statically indeterminate structures, Camilo Contreras Ávila, definition of approximate analysis of trusses, José Lacutir Jansen, exercise number one, Julián Rivero Solano, first part of exercise number two, Leonardo Rodriguez Mora, second part exercise number two, José Lacutir Jansen.